Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Yet another question about what should I do when I have to go away and my printer has to sit at home unused. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back and if this is the first time you land on this channel you must be interested in photo printing at home and if that is the case do not forget to subscribe and click on that bell so you don't miss anything I upload which is usually about three times a week now. I've slowed down a little bit. Today's question was really again a very common one constantly being asked by folks when they realize that inkjet printers have to be used often so that they don't clog up. Inkjet printing technology, it is so unique and so highly engineered and people take it for granted completely. Yes, you're all guilty of that. I am guilty of that, but at least I'm beginning to understand what's actually taking place. And I'm trying my best to make sure that my printers, all 15 of them, are kept exercised so they do not waste ink doing unnecessary cleaning cycles. I want my ink to be used for the creation of prints. Even standard images like this. That's what I want my ink for. Not to fill my waste pads or my waste ink cartridges. So a person here, one of my viewers, asked this question. I just discovered your channel, blah, 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 blah. I gave up on printing my own stuff several years ago because of the waste associated with dried up cartridges and multiple cleaning attempts, etc. Well. That's your fault, okay? The waste that you generate is because of lack of use. So if you don't have sufficient work to keep that printer happy, yeah, you did the right thing by then contracting a private lab to do your photo printing because if you do not have sufficient work to keep your printers happy at least every other day, daily is even better, okay? A lot of us do not have that type of volume of work or even wish to do our own private you know photos that often well we have to seriously consider whether we should even have a printer i have all these printers because i have to then provide the service to you guys and so that's the reason i have all of these printers here not because i have so much work to print i produce work to print just to keep these printers happy now cartridges don't dry so don't don't use that term the cartridges don't dry what dries is the ink in your nozzle plate region. That's what dries. Now, this person says, my problem is I split my time between two locales and don't have the ability to exercise a printer on a weekly basis. Well, more than like every two or three days basis. And he was recently in a black and white workshop last week and I'm thinking again about printing my own work. So he's getting the bug like we all do. As soon as we go to one of these places, one of these uh, uh, events and we see the work other people are providing and how they're doing it by using their own home printers. Yeah, we get the itch. It's just an addiction. We can't help it. So unfortunately, my problem remains that a printer will go unattended for six months. The pro who taught the workshop said that I could shut down the printer with the switch so that print heads could correctly dock, then pull the plug and then cover the printer. That works for him for a couple of months, Epson P800. Is it worth thinking about this or am I better off just sending my images to a lab for usually decent results? I'm glad you said that, decent results, yeah. The results are never gonna be as good as the ones that you can produce at home because you have total control over the production of that print. Slight nuances that you will not wanna go back and forth with a lab. You can perform the same evening and see exactly what you're gonna get when that print is ejected from the printer. So before you go to bed, you'll be satisfied. If not, you're gonna you know, attempt the next morning, but it's not a matter of waiting for days. So that is one of the big advantages of printing at home. Unfortunately, yeah, you cannot just leave a printer unused for six months. The idea of turning it off, pulling the plug, because that will park the printhead properly over the docking station or parking station or perch pad or whatever you wanna call it, that's a fallacy that does not apply any longer 
the printer after a certain amount of time will actually seal itself onto the perch pad. Now I have never ever left a printer for six months unused so I cannot say whether the P800 will survive that type of uh, you know abuse or neglect. No, it may not. So when you come back definitely it will run a pretty massive cleaning cycle. Yeah the Epsons will do that. It's not just Canons. Epsons will do that. You leave them unused for several months they will run a big big cleaning cycle. That cleaning cycle may not be enough to clear whatever clogs may have developed. Now you have two choices. Either has someone come over to your house and print something for you or get Q image. Q image has the ability to print a custom created perch file. And by that I mean a set of lines different width is very scientifically designed made up of only the colors that your printer ink set contains. And that can be set to print on schedule. If you want to do it bi-weekly, you can do it bi-weekly. If you want to do it every day, you can do it every day. Whatever schedule you want. Load up some cheap paper. You must leave the printer on. Stick it, plug it into one of those um, battery powered units in case you lose power. And also the computer, okay? Because QImage must remain open, on. And the scheduler has to be set and left on. Now you can go away for six months. When you come home, assuming nothing happened with the feeding mechanism or anything like that, any other mechanical failure, you should have a bunch of prints of that perch sheet or file sitting on your exit tray of your printer. That is for Windows, okay? But I believe that the QImage 1, which is also available for dual platform for Windows as well as Mac, will address that same functionality soon in the future. Not yet. It has not been implemented yet. So that is about it. Unless you're good writing scripts, and even if you do that, you have to leave everything on. And you have to really trust your power grid to never fail on you while you're away for those six months. And again, uh, if you have someone that can drop by and just check everything is on, everything is running correctly, they don't have to know computers, just make sure that the computer is on, they make sure that your Q image is open and everything has not shut down due to a power outage. Yeah, if you can assure yourself of that, then you can just go ahead and go away for the six months out of the year and your printer should be able to print, say, every week. For the P800, that's more than sufficient. Every week, a perch sheet. When you come back in six months, you will have six times 24. You should have 24 sheets of paper with that perch file printed on it. Run and also check when you get home, and it should be fine. If it's not, then one week, once a week wasn't enough, in other words. You're not running a cleaning cycle. You're not running a nozzle check. You're running a perch file print. And like I said, it's just a print. It is exercising your nozzles. It is meant to do that. And so if you have a printer that contains orange, you can create a custom perch file that contains orange lines. If you have a printer that contains red, the same. If a printer that contains blue and red, yes, the same. You can do that. So every two nights at 10 o'clock p.m., all my printers come to life. I have to make sure that I have this open. All my printers come to life and they print a perch sheet. And that's how I keep my printers happy. Even though I officially haven't printed any images on a lot of my other printers because I only print as I need to create a demonstration video. So that's the secret to keeping so many printers like I have currently happy and cleared of any clogs. You have to use a program like QImage. $69.99, a lot of money for you. Well, can you imagine? You will waste that much ink if you do not do something like that because when you get home and say you have to run two or three cleaning cycles, maybe even a deep one, you will waste that much ink. Ink is so expensive. And so unless you're using third-party inks, like I do in several of my printers, or you're refilling with OEM from large volume carts, 
Your ink costs have to be kept at a minimum. And the way to keep them at a minimum is to actually print these purge files. That way you don't have to run these cleaning cycles that are extremely wasteful. That is it. QImage Ultimate for Windows users will do everything. Not only that, but also the best layout and the best printing program out there. QImage 1 comes in two flavors, Mac and Windows. And soon they will implement that purge file type. They call it um, unclog tool. That's it. There's really nothing else. There is something free for Mac called Inkjet Plumber, but it prints a tiny little thing about yay big and it's really useless. It's not really useful to really fully exercise your print head. The next video is going to be really fun. I'm going to actually put the camera close to this bad girl right here. It has not been run for like I would say about 35, 38 hours. So I'm going to send a print. I'm going to have the camera running. I'm going to have the mic right next to the, this little mic right next to the printer. And we're going to see exactly how long does it take to, from the time I click print on my computer to the time that it goes through all of the gyrations. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust some settings here. Okay. Even though it's against my better nature, Somebody suggested that I could do that, and we'll see what happens. Then I will print a second print, and we'll time it to see whether it performs these functions again, like a lot of people complain about. They complain that this printer takes forever to set itself up for printing a single print. And then after it is done printing, I'm going to wait and see if something else happens after about 30 seconds. The Pro 100, the Pro 10, and the Pro 1, they do that. They actually empty the perch pad because there could be some accumulated ink. We'll get into that during that video. I'm going to explain some things that I have discovered, and it should be quite interesting for Canon Pro printer users. All right, so that is it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Happy printing, everybody. Eat, sleep, print, and repeat as much as possible. Bye-bye.